Thank you for meeting with me today, Mr. Whittlestone. I appreciate it. You have a beautiful home. Is that a picture of you and your wife? Yes, ma'am. That's the day we met. I still remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was 1932 when we were at the Savoy Ballroom. The days were long and the nights were hot. In those days, they called me Sammy Stone. <laughs> I was too cool for the whittle. Me and my band had gone from New Orleans up to Harlem, New York to play at the Savoy. Yes, ma'am, the Savoy. All the jazz greats used to be there. Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman, Count Basie, Ella Fitzgerald. Yes, indeed, it was always stomping at the Savoy. Me and my band were on stage doing our set. The whole ballroom was jumping, except for her. That's when I saw her. She stood out in the sea of flappers and Lindy Hop dancers. Their arms were flying and legs kicking, but she just stood there taking everything in. She was gorgeous. She caught my eye and before I knew it, I caught hers too. I flashed her a wide tooth smile and she smiled back. <laughs> she was so beautiful, she made me nervous and I hit the wrong key, missed my note. I looked down at the keys for a second to get back on track and when I looked back up, she was gone. So when me and my band finished our set, I rushed off stage to go find her. I looked at every lady on the dance floor, no luck. Looked over in the seating area, surveyed every lady there, still no luck. So I said, wait a minute, she must be in the bathroom. So I went and waited outside the lady's restroom. Every time the door opened, I perked up and readied myself to greet her. After 15 minutes, still no luck. So finally I gave up, headed backstage with my head held low and my dreams dashed. And just when I was about to hang it up, there she was, waiting outside my dressing room. She flashed me a sly smile and said, it took you long enough. I burst out laughing and gave her a big hug like I'd known her all my life. <laughs> Not knowing I'd end up spending just about the rest of my life with her. And as they say, the rest is history. She was a good woman and I'm a better man all the more for that special night.